Boom! What is up, y'all? My name's Clint, and welcome to The Perfect Bag. Today, we've got another fun everyday backpack. This one, check it out. This one is from Recycled Firefighter. This is called the 12-hour backpack, the 12-hour battalion backpack. It is cool. It is a uh, really, really useful size. You can tell right off the bat. Can't wait to dig into it into this bag with all of you. So, you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. What does that mean? We're gonna do a full walkthrough of the exterior of this bag, and then we're gonna do the interior as well, all the nooks and crannies, check out all the pockets and organization. <clears throat> and then after that, we're going to do two things that I love about the bag, two things not so much, and an overall recommendation. Who is this the perfect bag for? All right. Let's dive in. So first off, on the exterior of this bag, again, the brand is Recycled Firefighter, as always. Links in the video description. Um, you can see on the exterior of this bag, it is a Cordura bag. It is really tough. It is 1000 D. 1000 denier? Hmm. I need to learn how to pronounce that word. 1000 D Cordura, and it is a beauty. It is a beauty. It is really tough. You. When you pick up this bag, you can tell just from jump that this is a really tough bag. Kind of like uh, Go Ruck, other bags that are out there just designed to take a beating. That's what this bag is. Okay, so 1000 D Cordura. You have really, really beefy zippers on this thing as well with paracord zipper pulls, a very comfortable nylon grab handle up top. You have an access port right here. And that's for hydration bladders to poke through there, or God, you could do anything you want with it, I guess, but that's the intent. You could run a cord. I've never really tried, actually. Bet you could run a cord. If this was 1999, you could run the cords to your headphones. All kinds of fun stuff. Okay, you got D-ring attachment points. You got more uh, kind of, it looks like like three inch attachment points on the webbing on the straps. And let's talk about these straps. So you do have a little bit of padding on the back of the bag, just a little bit. It's a little bit beefier and a little bit poofy, um, but not much in terms of extra padding. But these straps, that's a whole nother matter. These straps are really beefy for a 12 liter bag. Uh, yeah, really, really beefy. It's called the 12 hour. It's designed kind of, if you've, if you've checked out um, 511, they kind of think in that way too. How long does the gear that you've put in this bag help you survive in tough situations? So, 12 liter bag, 12 hours. We got also a 24 hour, we got a 48 hour on their site. Um, check it out. Again, all the, the bags. And a little bit later on, I'll be posting a video of a 24 hour plus backpack as well from Recycled Firefighter. But this is the small version. And I like looking at the small versions of things because oftentimes that's all we need. You, are you guys ready to see the inside of this thing? Because um, there's no other real exterior features to speak of. It is as kind of no frills as you can get on the outside of this bag. I, I didn't mention, I think you've seen, there is one hook and loop field for your morale patches um, right up top on the bag. Um, or you could get a silencer and cover that up. All right, let's dive in with camera number two and check out the pockets on this bag. All right, thanks for joining me in camera number two, and we are ready to check out the pockets on the Recycled Firefighter 12-hour bag. So, first off, you can see this big vertical zipper runs the entire length of the front panel of this bag. I think that's a really good look. Really, really cool just like the North Seeker, just like some other bags we checked out recently. And then inside, what do we have? Well, we've got three little bits of organization here. You've got a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here that is twice the size of these two pockets. So one, two, three pockets, and then the whole entire front section is a drop pocket as well. So I've tossed in a little pouch from Green Room. I've also tossed in my USB cord and charger into this pocket. I've tossed my EDC pocket knife. And then over here, this is the quick access pocket on this bag. And so I've tossed Sharpie, my glasses, and my AirPods. There is no key leash in this front section here to attach, and there is no D-ring or O-ring either to attach a little item like keys. 
So be aware, very minimalist organization in this pouch, but also that's a plus because there's not extra organization that is unneeded in the pouch either. So let's open up this main compartment. This thing full clamshells. Boom. Let's look at the front first. All right. You have two mesh pockets, really nice size, and they take up the whole front of the bag. So in the top one, lots of space. I've tossed in a wallet from Recycled Firefighter. So they also make really nice minimalist wallets with this brand. Then I've tossed in a cord and some little knickknacks. So a good little knickknack pocket. This could be your EDC pocket that you prefer on this bag, actually. Then down here, I put my gimbal for filming videos. And then over in the main compartment, I've tossed in my um, uh, DC-3 from Bounce Design Labs and a slim pack from Alpaca. You can see there's not a ton of room. So let's see, Sharpie test. Half a Sharpie's worth of room inside this bag, width-wise. So this is not kind of pack a towel and go to the beach. The towel would fill up literally this entire bag. This is, again, a small carry. And there is no hook and loop field on the back of this. So you're not attaching, you know, you're not attaching aggressive organizer panels to the back of this bag. There is one attachment point here, a one inch attachment point where you could hang a hydration bladder. And again, run that up through this port right here. So you do have that option. Meet me back in camera number one, everyone. All right, so you've had a chance to see all there is to see with the Recycled Firefighter 12-hour bag. It is incredibly well made. It is also incredibly minimalist. It's even more minimal than the Go Ruck Bullet. Yeah, it's an interesting bag, and I loved getting a chance to take a look, <clears throat> take a look at it. So, what's two things that I really like about this bag? Well, the first thing that I've got to say is fantastic about this bag is these backpack straps. They felt great carrying this bag. I'm a huge fan of overbuilt straps for small bags. I think it's one, it's one of the most fun ways to carry a bag um, is a tiny bag with big straps. If you haven't tried it, it is really, really fun. It's the exact opposite of a big bag with tiny straps, which is hell, okay? So this is really fun and these straps are really, really comfortable to wear, super adjustable, and they do come with these Velcro cord keepers um, right here so that you don't have any extra dangle of straps on this bag, which I really appreciated. It's a nice touch too. So that's the first thing. The second thing I really love about this bag is the toughness factor. So 1000D and also not a single stitch out of place on the whole bag. Like it is really, really well made. Everything feels tight. Everything feels well built with high quality materials. So that's the second thing I really enjoy about this bag. So the, the straps are fantastic and the build quality and materials are really, really beefy and it feels like it's going to last a lifetime. So those are the things I love about the bag. Two things that I think could be better about this bag from Recycled Firefighter. Well, the first one is this. I wish this was hook and loop on the back. There's all kinds of cool things that we could do. Like, this is a laptop sleeve from Green Room 136. It's called the, the Book Pack. And look at this. Fits right into here. And it has, like so many cool attachment points do, or attaching things do, it has hook and loop panels, but there's no hook and loop that I can attach to on this bag. So hook and loop back panel would be uh, really nice to have on this bag, or at least a couple of fields of hook and loop so you could attach if you wanted to. That would be really, really neat. So that's the first thing that I would do differently about this bag. The second thing I would do differently about this bag is just offer a couple of, so we've got these D-rings right here on the back of the bag. I think this bag could benefit from a couple of those D-rings sewn in right here in this front pocket. Just to give you a couple of options to clip keys to or clip things to, since this is your EDC pocket, um, I really think that this would be more beneficial as a pocket if it had a couple of O-rings or D-rings that you could just clip things to. 
wouldn't cost that much, would be a nice feature to see in a bag this size. All right, so let's talk about this thing. Who is this the perfect bag for? Well, I think it would be the perfect bag for a lot of people. Now, this is not a good office carry, right? And not just because it's in giant woodland camo with Super Mario Brothers morale patches on it. No, it's not a good office carry because it's not great for tech. This is not a great bag for laptops and iPads and AirPods Max and drones and all of that. Recycle Firefighter does make better bags for all that. This is a great little bag for um, just beating around town. This is a great weekend bag. This is a great bag for, um, you know, just hiking. Um, this is a great bag for tossing one water bottle and a little bag within a bag into there. Um, hydration bladder, hook it up, run the, run the hose out the port. Uh, cliff bars in the front of it. Like this is a cool everyday bag and it's really insanely comfortable. And it solves that problem that a lot of people have with backpacks these days is that they're just too big for what we actually carry. This is appropriately sized for what most people carry throughout the day, with the exception of laptops, with the exception of tablets. So if you've got a phone-based carry and you want a backpack rather than a fanny pack or a sling pack or a crossbody, something like this or the Go Ruck Bullet series might be perfect for you. Imagine walking around a theme park with this sucker instead of, you know, whatever else you've decided to carry or a giant backpack or once you have aged out of strollers and you don't benefit from, you know, getting to toss everything under the bottom of the stroller, you'll want one of these. All right. So great bag, well built, maybe not for everybody because of the lack of organization and the lack of options to increase organization on your own. No Molly attachment points, no hook and loop on the interior of the bag, that kind of thing. But well made, a joy to carry. And I think you would really like it if this appealed to you. Don't hesitate, good bag. All right, everybody, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, if you did, please subscribe and tell all your friends. All right, everybody, see you next time. Thanks so much.